Campbell. I'm a history teacher and an author, and uh, because I'm home alone with nothing better to do, I'm going to make a, this video about the very fascinating subject of how the ancient Egyptians did multiplication. Now, you've probably been impressed with the, the grandeur and the, the elegance, the precision of ancient Egyptian buildings and ancient Egyptian engineering. Uh, you are about to have a lot more respect for the ancient Egyptians after you watch this video and see how convoluted their uh, manner of doing multiplication was, that they could build the things they did using this form of multiplication for their, uh, their calculations. Uh, the ancient Egyptians were only uh, able to do multiplication in the most basic way. They, they really were only very comfortable with, uh, with one form of multiplication, which is doubling. Um, uh, adding a number to itself, multiplying it times two. So as we see their multiplication, it's basically a bunch of addition and, and doubling. So let's start with a simple equation like five times seven. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take one of these factors, it doesn't matter which, but let's start with five, and we're going to make a list of integers starting with one, and we're going to double them until we can add up to five. So here's what I mean. We'll start with one, then we double one to get two, we double two to get four. Now at this point we see um, I can add these up to make five. Four plus one equals five, our first factor. Okay, so there we go. We're going to check four and check one. That gives us five. Now over here we're going to take the second factor and we're going to start the second column with this number, 7. Then we're going to double 7, gives us 14. Then we're going to double 14, and that gives us 28. So you see at this point we're only doing addition and doubling. Okay, now, the numbers over here that add up to 5 that we've checked, we're going to take the corresponding numbers in the right column, we're going to take those and add them together. 28 plus 7. And of course, 28 plus 7 equals 35. And that's the answer to 5 times 7 is 35. Okay, now we're going to try again with another problem. Let's try 8 times 6. Again, we're going to pick a factor. It doesn't matter which. Let's just pick 6. So we start over here with 1, and we double it until we can get 6. So 1 doubled is 2, 2 doubled is 4. Now at this point, I can get to 6. See, 4 plus 2 is 6. So I'm going to take 4, take 2, that gives us 6. Now in the other column, we're going to start with, start with the other factor, which is 8. And we're going to double it. 8 doubled is 16. 16 doubled is 32. Now we're always going to double the amount of lines on the, uh, on the right to equal out the amount of numbers we have on the left. So now again we've checked 4 and 2, so now we just match these up and we're going to take 16 and 32 and add them together. And if we get 16 and 32 added together we get 48, which is of course the answer to 8 times 6. Pretty simple, it's convoluted, it's, it's basically using addition to do multiplication, but it definitely works. All right, for our last one, I've given us something a little bit more uh, challenging, 55 times 11. So we're going to start out over here. I'm going to take uh, 55. So we're going to start there. We're going to do 1, 2, 4. 4 doubled is 8. 8 doubled is 16. 16 doubled is 32. Okay, at this point, do I have enough to get to 55? Let's see. 32 and 16 is 48, plus 4 is 52, plus 2 is 54, plus 1 is 55. So yes, I do. So I'm going to take 32, 16, 4, 2, and 1. That's going to give me 55. Now, do you remember what I do now on the right-hand column? I'm going to start with 11, and I'm going to double, and I'm going to double... Um, I'm going to double uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times because we have 6 uh, digits over here. So start with 11. Double that is 22. Then 44. Doubling 44 is 88. 
doubling 88 is 176. And because I don't trust my math, doubling 176 is going to give us 352. All right. So now we're going to line up the numbers we took from the left-hand column with the right. Okay, so we're going to take 11, 22, 44, 176, and 352 and add them all together. 352 plus 176 plus 44 plus 22 plus 11. Okay, so let's do this real quick. Carry the 1, 7, 8, 9, 10, 14, 15, and 5 is 20. Carry the 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I've got an answer of 605. Now let's do this on the old calculator just to make sure we're correct. 55 times 11, yes, it equals 605. So, <laughs> um, Look at how many digits we needed to do that, though. Um, now, knowing that this is how the ancient Egyptians did multiplication, isn't it astonishing that they were able to use this math to construct the Great Pyramid and all the marvels of ancient Egypt? Human ingenuity can go a long, long way. Hey, I hope this is interesting to you. If you want to see anything else uh, explained, please leave a comment uh, in the comment section, and Mr. Campbell will explain it. Thanks. See you all next time.